Our game, Underworld Descendants, is a first-person RPG immersive sim that really focuses on player-authored solutions. In it, you go on missions for several factions and grow your skills and abilities. You have uh, dozens of different skills to choose from, from combat, stealth, magic, and more. And we really, really push you to come up with your own way of playing. There's no character classes. It's really about how you want to play the game. Underworld Descendant is the modern follow-up to Ultima Underworld, which was the game that kicked off the immersive sim genre 25 plus years ago. It was developed by Looking Glass, which was a company founded by our founder, Paul Nureth. The Ultima Underworld franchise is actually still owned by EA. And uh, Paul tells a great story. There's a long history where the rights sort of went fallow. EA decided they didn't want to do anything with the franchise for a number of years. And Paul got back in touch with them three-ish years ago and started work with them to get the rights to do uh, what's essentially is a spiritual successor or, you know, it's not a true sequel since it doesn't use the Ultima Underworld brand. But, you know, we felt like it was a long, long history to the franchise. It had been innovative and broke some new ground. And we felt like there were fans out there that would want to see another other game just like it, at least modernized uh, and brought to, you know, modern gaming standards. So we felt like uh, it was time to bring it back, so we're excited to do that. I mean, the original Ultima Underworld had its own mythology within the Stygian Abyss, and we were returning to the, the Stygian Abyss and uh, touching on a lot of the plot lines and characters. It's definitely created so that if you've never played Ultima Underworld before, you can pick it up and enjoy it, but there's a lot of fun references. So fans of the original game will find a lot to uh, dig into and new fans will uh, be able to pick it up right away. Within Underworld Descendant, you face an incomprehensible challenge. You are up against this primordial nightmare, Typhon, who is an early nemesis of Zeus. If he wakes, he will wipe out creation. So within the game, you are working to you have to really come up with new ways of thinking. It's not an enemy that's going to be vanquished with a sword. It requires you to really endeavor to, to create a new mythical archetype, the Ascendant, a character that combines clever problem solving and adaptability, and really bring the entire underworld together against this, this foe. It's a little similar to the Avatar for the uh, Ultima series, but uh, with our own take on it. The player is able to mix and match skills and abilities from multiple different trees, combat, stealth, magic, and more, but there's no character classes per se. They can mix and match however they like. There's really no right way to play Underworld Ascendant. It's completely your way, and we find that everyone plays it a little differently. We said early on that we want you to come up with solutions that we hadn't thought of before, and every time we bring in new people to play the game, we see that. We saw it at PAX East, we saw it at PAX South, we've seen it with that having external testers come in. Just there's a, a really rich interactive world that's been set up by our lead engineer, Will Texera, and lead designer, Tim Stelmach, who is the lead designer on Thief. And it's a really amazing interactive world where if you wonder if you can pull something off, you can. There's a number of logic-based systems so that wooden doors can be broken down or burned, but it might attract attention. Traps are physics-based, so it can be blocked by heavy objects. Physics, physical properties, they really matter in the game. It's everything is meant to make sense. We reward you for creativity, so we are really trying to push and inspire you to come up with just wild, interesting solutions. The look of the game is really inspired by miniatures, and in some respects it's neat when you look back at the history of the Underworld franchise, Paul and, and Warren were avid D&D players uh, back in the 80s and 90s, and that was the inspiration for the original series, and uh, miniatures are obviously a big part of playing D&D, so we felt like that was a good inspiration to bring the franchise forward, and in fact some of the artists have sculpted models, walls, crates, and things like that out of clay to, to really help nail that look and feel. Our team is comprised of a lot of folks from Looking Glass and from Irrational. Myself, I was one of the writers on Bioshock Infinite. We're also borrowing a few level designers from Fulbright, folks who worked on Tacoma and Gone Home and Bioshock 2. So uh, it's all just one big uh, immersive sim family, pretty much. Underworld Ascendant will be coming out uh, second half of this year. You can find us on Steam already and also go to underworldascendant.com to find out more information about it. The future calls. We must make ready to meet it.